वेलकम बैक टू माई क्लास रूम दिस इज जस्ट इन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ कोरलेशन एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशन दैट मीन्स अंडर विच कंडीशन विच पर्टिकुलर टेस्ट कैन बी यूज सो आई हैव डिवाइडेड दम टू टू क्लास कैटेगरीज वन इज बाई वेरिएट एंड अदर वन इज मल्टी वेरिएट सो बाई वेरिएट मीन्स यू डील विद टू वेरिएबल्स एट अ टाइम मल्टी वेरिएट मीन्स यू मे हैव मल्टीपल वेरिएबल्स इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स Okay, now what are statistics that we are going to discuss today? Uh, basically, the application. So you have Pearson R, Carl Pearson product movement correlation, Spearman rank correlation, point by cell correlation, by cell correlation, rank correlation, chi square test, phi correlation, tetra coric, poly coric co uh, correlation, um, Neymar test, Mac Neymar test. Under multivariate analysis section, you have multiple correlation, a partial correlation, and canonical correlation. So these are the different types of correlation um, analysis that you are going to discuss now. basically the application so these two uh, are done when you have a continuous data so continuous data means uh, you have either a uh, when you will start with the first one so you have a data which is uh, either equal interval or ratio so then you can use a uh, pearson um, rank correlation product moment correlation coefficient if your data is not a uh, meeting the assumptions of pearson r because pearson r is a parametric test if it does not meet all the assumptions of pearson r you may have to go for a spearman row so spearman row is a rho row is a non parametric test this also can be done when you have ordinal data of both both the variables are ordinal in nature that means these when you do these two analysis both the variables are continuous i'm just representing c okay so these two analysis are done when you have a continuous data both variables are continuous in nature okay so i'll say two variables are continuous in nature now when you look at the other variables here so let us say this set you have one continuous variable other one is a categorical variable so i'll say uh, this is continuous this is category okay now uh, so this uh, set of analysis are by cell correlation point by cell correlation and rank correlation so how do you differentiate these things so the basic term is by serial correlation by serial correlation means you have one continuous variable say that one continuous variable another one is categorical that to dichotomous category categorical that means dichotomy so dichotomy means you have two options okay so we can say 0 and 1 yes or no right or wrong like the two options so this is dichotomy so one of the variable would be category and that two dichotomous variable other variable is continuous so options this dichotomy can be true dichotomy and you can be a uh, false you don't say false i mean generally it's a um, which is not a true dichotomy i'm just writing false just to explain this okay so you have true dichotomy and you have a dichotomy which is uh, a created artificial kind of dichotomy so based on that you decide whether it's a point by serial or a by serial uh, for example pass or fail in exam so out of 50 a person got uh, 20 to pass the exam uh, and the person got 21 you may you are calling it as a pass okay so the possibilities are 0 and 1 that means fail or pass but that the cut off point Uh, is uh, decided by the researcher or the person who conducted the test so it is not a true dichotomy what about male and female that that's a, a true dichotomy it is not decided by the people it's based on the specific categories it won't change time by time and otherwise uh, what about uh, whether the person has come for the uh, class or uh, selected psychology program and not selected psychology program see that so it is uh, it is a very clear cut dichotomy it's a true dichotomy if you use true dichotomy see that if you use true dichotomy uh, you can go for point by serial correlation okay point by serial correlation if your uh, dichotomy is not true that is artificial dichotomy you go for simple by serial correlation okay now that's how you decide whether it's a point by cell or by cell correlation other one is rank correlation so rank correlation is based on the the second variable this particular variable continuous variable if your uh, uh, variable uh, the uh, the continuous variable is ordinal in nature you have to go for rank correlation so these two condition it has to be either equal interval or ratio like that okay so this is uh, the second category and what if your variables are and basically entire variables are uh, categorical in nature so both variables are categorical see that so one was both continuous one categorical one uh, continuous and both variables are categorical now you go for these set of analysis 
what are this set of analysis chi square test and phi correlation so um, chi square test means uh, you uh, have both categorical data where um, uh, you can have a two variables different two variables and n number of categories that means you have a, a variable one let's say uh, variable sex you have a male a female transgender like that and you have variable um, intelligence and you have um, high intelligence uh, and low intelligence like that and you need to find out association between all these variables okay now now this is a contingency table now this condition is uh, when you have if you want to find out relationship between these two variables you generally call it as a chi square test so you have uh, a set of um, uh, categories uh, levels for one independent variable and maybe a set of uh, variables for the another independent variable so very simple kind of uh, context now um, this is uh, basically this this set of tests are done when you have purely nominal data okay now uh, this can be m this can be n okay like that m into n, n not into m by n condition you can go for a chi square test so entire tests are based on chi square distribution let it be tetrachoric polychoric um, name a test phi correlation every condition this variable the values are converted to a, a chi square distribution now uh, what is chi, uh, phi correlation phi correlation is a type of uh, uh, the the particular um, relationship between two variables where you have a condition instead of m and n it is a little more limited you have two by two condition so you have male female high and low like the two by two condition you can go for a phi correlation okay so if you have multiple uh, elements and even if it is two by two condition you can go for both chi square and phi correlation both okay now if you have uh, uh, more than um, two uh, by two condition you have to go for a chi square itself you cannot think about a phi correlation now what is tetrachoric and polychoric so same pattern itself i would say chi square and polychoric go together phi correlation and tetrachoric will go together so what is uh, the uh, tetrachoric correlation the tetrachoric correlation is a condition where uh, i mean this analysis can be done in a condition where you have a two by two condition and uh, the assumption is the variables that we have are basically normal distributed theoretically normal distributed and you are converting to a dichotomous pattern for example think about this variable i intelligence okay so this intelligence is actually uh, uh, is a continuous variable and instead of variable sex i am looking for uh, happiness okay okay and i am dividing this happiness uh, to um, two levels so you have happiness uh, low happiness high and intelligence uh, low and intelligence high and these are continuous variables basically and i am trying to find out relationship between these variables okay so these are these two happiness and intelligence continuous variable that are theoretically normal distributed assume that and i'm trying to find out association between these two variables now this is called you can use a tetrachoric correlation when you go for a chi square test or phi correlation the assumptions of the variables are supposed to be uh, nominal in nature so uh, instead of variable instead of the uh, the example of intelligence uh, in a condition of chi square or phi correlation i would use something else something like a socioeconomic status um, high and low something like that that would be more appropriate now this is a tetrachord the assumption is the variables are normally distributed theoretically and the categories are uh, you know like the groups are created based on that okay now that's a uh, tetrachoric correlation and polychoric uh, polychoric correlation means the same condition itself same assumption itself. you have this is two by two condition tetrachoric so when you have m by n that means n number of m number of categories here and n number of categories here that means multiple categories in the condition now that condition we use polychoric correlation so this polychoric correlation and tetrachoric correlation are basically cause of like that this is how you calculate 180 like this is the way you calculate because sign values are taken to find out the tetrachoric and polychoric correlations now other one is McNamer test McNamer I, I really like this test this is a within group design this test is more uh, can be used in the case of within group design generally when you have within group design you really don't do not have much uh, analysis uh, to deal with the categorical data for example you have a condition where uh, pre-test and post-test okay and you need to know uh, present present uh, 
of a presence of a characteristic and absence of a characteristic like that see that so you have a pre-test condition post-test condition and you have some variables yes or no like that okay now this condition uh, this is just to be number okay let us for example in the pre-test condition um, uh, that particular disease was present for 50 people but in the post-test condition that particular disease was present for only 15 people um, and the uh, the absence the the other side okay now how many people had in the pre-test condition uh, let us say uh, absence was in the entire population uh, 40 people it was like that and the remaining people um, uh, in the post-test condition how many people didn't have like that so it's a pre-test post that I mean within group design okay when you have within group design and you, you need to deal with the numerical data how many people had before and how many people have now this particular analysis can be uh, uh, is called as uh, the mac namer test okay so these tests are basically uh, the uh, uh, the bivariate uh, correlation this entire set of analysis are basically bivariate correlation now we look into the last set here multivariate analysis multivariate analysis means you have more than uh, two variables so bivariate is two variables and here more than two okay variable so first one is multiple correlation so multiple correlation means you have uh, variable x and variable y and effect uh, the correlation of these two variables together on another variable z okay now this is called as uh, uh, multiple correlation so multiple correlation is a pearson correlation itself it is represented by r i can write like in this context z dot x y that means these two variables together how much correlation it has with the z value so this is called as a multiple correlation so r is that x y it can be represented like that and the next one is partial correlation partial correlation is relationship between two variables after controlling an extraneous variable for example if i write that generally written like this r x y dot z that means relationship between x and y after controlling extraneous variable z so this is a partial correlation uh, so partial correlation is used to control an extraneous variable so this is a multiple correlation so when you do multiple regression you get a r square value generally right a r square value this r square is a pro is a square of this particular value okay now um, Canonical correlation is another kind of correlation that means you have a set of variables like variable 1, variable 2, variable 3 like that. Three independent variables or set in, let it be set of variables. You don't need to talk about independent variables, just three set of variables. And you have another set of variables here, let us say variable 4, variable 5, variable 6, variable 7 like that. So set 1 and set 1. So I need to set 1 and set 2. Let us say I need to find out relationship between uh, some personality characteristics and some different types of food habits, junk food eating or uh, binge eating like that, different kind of food habits. So one is personality, one other set is um, basically binge eating habits. So this type of analysis is called as canonical correlation. So I can find out whether set A is related to set B. So let us say I, my conclusion would be whether personality is related to eating habits of a person. So one thing that you have to remember is this set of variables should have something in common and this set of variables should have something in common. Not like just like all you know, like uh, different kind of variables can be included in one set. So that means a set of variables here, another set of variables here. These variables has to be continuous in nature. So this is uh, the example of a multivariate uh, analysis. I'm sorry, uh, canonical correlation, which is coming under multivariate uh, analysis. So all this, these two things are basically Pearson itself. This is not complete Pearson. It's a very complicated analysis and uh, the canonical correlation, because generally what they do is they find out a latent factor from here, uh, which is which can explain all these three. They find out another latent factor here. Uh, so uh, and these two variables will be correlated. Now this is a correlation, uh, canonical correlation ideally and so many other possible co correlations are uh, is, uh, you know, like possible in this context. That means whether this latent factor is related to this variable, another variable, another variable like that. It is a very interesting complicated kind of analysis. Uh, this is used in the context of MANUA this canonical correlation so you can see uh, application of um, like uh, this particular analysis in the context of MANUA. Yeah that's it. Um, See you in the next class. Bye.